Broken here, doing a uh, guide on Lightworks. Now, I had a comment before, somebody was asking, you know, good editing software, stuff like that. If you're looking for a free one, this is a pretty good one. Um, this one is running on Windows 7 right now. This is right, I mean, this is downloading it right when you download it. You load it up, this is what you see. Um, first thing you do want to do is you need to put a name. I mean, anything, test. Uh, you'll create the actual clip itself. Now, you can you can upload from here. I mean, you can do all kinds of stuff here. I usually just X out of this, and I go to the timeline, the new edit. Go ahead and click that. It brings up your timeline. It brings up the uh, test as well you can actually view the clip um, you can sort it however you want I usually have it set up like this but you set it up however you want and you can actually resize and do all kinds of stuff to these things it doesn't matter um, I usually have a folder all you have to do is go to your folder and you can just highlight drag over gives you an actual uh, your clips here now it's 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 really easy on Lightworks. You just drag and drop. Um, it's fairly easy. These are just some clips from some Call of Duty. It looks like you can just grab them, put them right next to each other, or however you want to do it. Um, you can put them right next to each other. You can do whatever you want with them. Um, I usually you know minimize this if I don't need it anymore. Uh, you can actually it gives you a little thumbnail as well. Um, I mean, the easiest thing to do is to, you, you can actually click the timeline, you can play it, you can watch what it is, it gives you a preview. Now, say you want to clip some of this out. Uh, one thing you can do is go to the beginning of this, and actually do the frames as well if you need to. If you, if you don't like this part right here where it shows him, you can actually mark it right here. Uh, let's show you zoomed in a little bit. Okay. You can mark it. You got to use the beginning mark. And then you can play and you can get it to where he's not on the screen anymore. Or you can't see his name or whatnot. And then you can mark it again with the uh, out mark. And see how it made a, a pretty much an, an enter area right here. Now you can do whatever you want with this. You can delete it. You can do whatever you want with this little spot right here usually I use these up here it either closes it in and it actually brings it together or you can delete it you can uh, push the delete button it, it deletes that mark section and you can do that in the meet in the middle of the clip as well if you want to mark it right here and you don't you don't like this part right here you can actually mark that whole thing and you can delete it now this will remove it and keep that black spot if that's what you're wanting to do if you're wanting to put something else in its spot or you're wanting to do whatever with that um, or you can close in the timeline and it brings those two clips together it's either or you can delete it or you can actually close it in as well it's totally up to you you can just mark it again mark it again and you can just delete that gap as well so it actually closes it in and then it plays that clip like that I'll show you real quick see how it just kind of skipped over and went to your next clip that is what that does I mean, if you're, if you're wanting to trim the clip, stuff like that, you can actually, you know, drag and drop right here, too. You can actually trim it. You just pretty much click and hold. It trims the whole thing, so it actually takes it down. So now at the end of that, it, it trimmed off the end of that. That's the end of it now. But, yeah, this is how you do the basics of, like, right when you download it, putting a clip together, making it, you know, kind of together as well. Um, I will make another video on doing special effects, titles, everything that you can actually do. You can actually do some transitions where it, you know, fades into the next clip. Uh, you can push it, squeeze it all. I mean, there's all kinds of things, and you get more with the pro, the pro program as well. I mean, this is just the free version, so it's only going to have a certain amount. But if you're just starting out and you're wanting to do some video editing and maybe some montages and whatnot, this will be the uh, way to go. So if uh, you like the video, go ahead and give a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.